a silver Volkswagen pulls up at a fuel station. Jack Hammond gets out, enters the shop and puts a candy bar in his back pocket. Two policemen enter the shop. There is a report of a stolen vehicle over the policeman's radio, a silver Volkswagen. Jack freaks out. He grabs hold of a woman and holds the candy bar to her back. The policeman and the cashier think he's holding a gun. Jack orders the policeman to put their hands in the air. He orders the cashier to take the policeman's guns and put them in his back pockets. He orders the three people to lie face down on the ground while he leaves the shop, taking the woman with him. Police officers are inside a police car. There's a report over the radio. All units respond to a hijacked red BMW 1993, male Caucasian armed and very dangerous holding female hostage. Jack says he'll let the woman go as soon as it's safe. Right now, she needs to be his little insurance policy. The woman takes the car's cigarette lighter and holds it up to Jack's neck, burning him. A police car starts chasing the BMW. The woman pulls the lighter off Jack's neck. The lighter falls onto the seat of the car. The woman says she didn't mean to burn Jack's neck. The lighter is now burning the seat, giving off smoke. The woman throws the lighter out the window. Another police car joins the chase. The woman says she's going to throw up. Jack tells her to stick her head out the window. Vomit sprays over the police car's windscreen. Police have a positive ID on the red BMW. It's registered to Natalie Voss. She's the young lady hostage. She's Dalton Voss's daughter. Dalton Voss is a billionaire. The chase is taken onto the freeway. Three police cars are in pursuit. A cameraman is recording the event from a news reporting helicopter. Jack's speeding and swerving between the cars causes a medical truck to swerve and swing from side to side. The shutter on the back opens. Dead bodies spill out onto the road. A body falls on the police car's windscreen. Jack says they're going to be traveling for a while so he thinks they should get better acquainted. He says there are no rules on how to kidnap people. There's no rule saying you can't be cordial and nice. The woman says her name is Natalie Voss. Jack says he didn't intend to kidnap anyone, he didn't plan anything. Dalton Voss has entered the police station. The police look at the footage from the camera in the shop. They get a good look at the man's face. They identify him as Jack Hammond, escaped while being transferred from San Francisco County Jail San Quentin, after being sentenced for 1991 armed bank robbery. A police officer inside a police car is holding a shotgun. Jack holds the policeman's gun out the window. This police car drives alongside the BMW. The BMW drives over a rock. Jack says he hates violence. There's a difference in being violent and being driven to violence. The car phone rings. Dalton asks Jack how much money he wants for his daughter. He offers $50,000. Jack responds $15,000? That's all your daughter's worth to you. Jack ends the phone call. He says that Dalton is a dickhead. More police cars and two police motorcycles have joined the chase. Ari Josephson, Jack's attorney wants to talk to Jack. He says Jack will listen to him. The car phone rings. Ari says this is not the way to beat the system. Now Jack is a kidnapper. He's probably looking at life. Jack says the public would recognize him as the red-nosed robber who has kidnapped the richest girl in the country. He ends the phone call. He rips the car phone off the car so he can't receive any more incoming calls. People are setting up a hopefully impenetrable barrier on the border into Mexico, with police cars and plows. A news reporting van drives alongside the BMW. The reporter shouts if Natalie can give them a thumbs up if she's okay. Jack holds his middle finger up at the window. The driver swerves the van to avoid crashing into a blue car on the road. Natalie is falling in love with Jack. They're all cuddling and kissing. The sky has got dark. Lots of police cars are in pursuit. Natalie says she is Jack's insurance policy. Jack notices there are no more cars on the road. They see and approach the barricade. Jack drives backwards up the road. 
he speeds through the gap of two police cars. He swerves the car round and drives forwards. Jack parks the car. He tells Natalie it's over. I can't let you ruin your life because of me. Natalie says Jack is innocent. Jack thanks Natalie for believing in him. Natalie gets out the car. He gets out of the car for real this time with his hands in the air. Dalton Voss arrives in a helicopter. He smacks Jack across his face despite his apology. Natalie tells her father that Jack is innocent. Later, Dalton says. Natalie fires the gun up in the air to get everyone's attention. She holds the gun to a police officer's head. She threatens to blow his brains out over live TV. She shoots at the helicopter which explodes to show she means business. Jack's handcuffs are removed. Everyone steps away from Jack. Natalie orders the cameraman out of the news reporting helicopter. Jack and Natalie get inside the helicopter. Natalie orders the pilot at gunpoint to fly off. Jack and Natalie are enjoying themselves on a beach in Mexico. Please subscribe for more movie.